Good morning everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. So today I wanted to just do a couple things and bring you guys along. Um, so the first thing is we are going to my parents' house for a couple days. We live in Davis, California, and they live about two hours north in Redding. And so going to visit them, I wanted to bring my mom a little bouquet of flowers. And I thought that these apricot tulips that I was showing you guys in the video the other day, they are... You know, <laughs> They have only a couple days left, so I thought that I could harvest these, put them in a vase for my mom, and give them to her. So I wanted to show you guys that. What I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and leave the leaves there, not actually pull up the whole the whole bulb, um, and then see if the bulbs can suck in some of the energy, and then I'm gonna put them in my garage fridge and, and see if I can get them to last for next season. Um, so, I I was talking to somebody on Instagram that's gonna do the same thing, but she has tulips in her pots. And um, I think she's a teacher and she's gonna put the pots in her school fridge. Um, so I'll put her name right here. Um, I don't remember it off the top of my head right now, uh, but we're gonna do a little experiment and see what happens. So I'm going to harvest these and then put those in a, in a pretty vase for my mom and I'll show you guys that. And then the second thing I wanted to do was um, I got plant mail. <laughs> so I ordered my dahlia and I ordered them from Longfield Gardens and they finally came yesterday. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but you have to order your dahlias early. I, you know, I think dahlias are just kind of like the it flower right now. Everybody wants to grow dahlias. So they sell out, you know, if you want specific kinds, they sell out really, really quickly. So um, I ordered my dahlias gosh, I think end of December, early January, super, super early, you know, at a point when you're not even really thinking about it. It's kind of like bulbs as well. Um, I always think of it as the target seasonal section. <laughs> like if you go and you go the month that the holiday is in, all the good stuff will be gone. So if you're going to go, you know, shopping for Easter, you better go in February and March and get your Easter stuff from Target. Let me know if you guys have that same issue, but at least at my Target, I have to go the month or two before. It's ridiculous. So that's kind of how I think about uh, Dahlia tubers and, you know, um, daffodils and tulips, you know, and things like that. You just, you have to do it so early so I bought mine I think like I said I think late December early January is when I bought mine from Longfield Gardens and it was just delivered yesterday and so what I am planning to do is I'm planning to pot them up and then um, put them in my seed starting station with my grow lights and my heat mat in my bedroom and the, you know, I don't have to do that. I think that, um, you know, you can, you can definitely put your tubers straight in the ground, but you do have to wait until the soil is warm enough. The soil has to be about 60 degrees. So we are past our last, last frost date, but it's just, it's like tomatoes. It's just too cold to plant in the soil right now. The soil's too cold. So I wouldn't be able to plant my tubers until probably mid April in the ground for them to be happy. So the reason why I I pre um, pot them up and pre sprout them and I'm sure you guys have seen a bunch there's a bunch of videos on this on YouTube um, but the main reason that I do it in zone 9b is to get a head start on the blooms because I want the blooms kind of as soon as possible um, and especially before it gets really really hot here in like August and September because some of the Dahlia varieties will kind of slow down with the heat um, so I want to get them up and going you know in June and July before before it gets over a hundred, you know, for 20 days straight or something like that. So that's the first reason. But honestly, the main reason for me is that I deal with slugs and snails and earwigs. And if I plant a dahlia tuber straight in the ground and then those little baby shoots come up, it's pretty much a guarantee that they're gonna get chewed on and chomped on by the slugs and snails and earwigs. And so then they're just, you know, if they might not even come up all the way if they get them enough, or they might be kind of deformed or something like that. So you could always put lots of sluggo around them, you know, to protect those little baby shoots, 
or you can just pre-sprout them, wait for the, the leaves to get tall enough so that they can handle a little bit of that kind of pressure, um, slug and snail and earwig pressure, um, and then I think that they'll just do a lot better. So that's what I did last year. It worked really well. I had wonderful blooms. Um, uh, the type, I only grew one type last year and the type that I grew last year, it did slow down in August and September, but then it started coming right back after that. Um, so anyway, I have, I think I have 20 varieties. <laughs> so I went from one to 20, which is ridiculous. <laughs> but um, so I have 20 varieties. I'll, I'll uh, open the box and show you guys and put a little picture on the screen of all the varieties I got for this year. Um, yeah, and then we'll do that. So let's get the tulips first. with the blue so this vase I got from Ross just in case anyone wants to know <laughs> it was like six bucks at Ross it was awesome so let me take this inside and then I'll go arrange it a little bit nicer all done I think they look so pretty so a couple of them are totally blown out but that's okay I don't think my mom will mind <laughs> isn't that pretty so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go put this in my garage fridge and then when we leave we're gonna leave after work today so uh, when we leave I'll just take it out and then be able to give it to her this evening when we get there I'm really happy with this though. And so I left all those leaves out there. Um, let me show you guys. So I left all of these leaves out here. I don't, I don't know why I left that one. Oh, it had a little bit of brown on the tip. This one was a little brown and then that one was just for some reason really short. So I'm gonna leave these guys here until they totally brown out. Um, and then I don't know if I'll put the bulbs in soil or I'll just take them out and, um, and put them in the fridge just by themselves. I'll have to kind of research that and look that up. Um, yeah, so that's my plan for this little tulip experiment. And if that works, then awesome because I won't have to buy new tulips every year. Okay, so now the next thing I wanted to do is open up my box of Longfield Gardens dahlias, and then I have a bunch of other ones, some that I got from Costco, and then some that I got from Home Depot. So I wanted to open these up, and then I'll take you guys out to the greenhouse and plant them up. I also made kind of like a cheat sheet for myself of, of all the dahlias that I have. Yes. Yes, I did this. <laughs> of all the dahlias that I have. So these are gonna go in my cut flower garden. Um, and then these two are gonna go along my black fence right where I put the, uh, the stepping stones. Um, so this is just a little cheat sheet. So when I open it, I'll know what dahlia I'm looking at. So um, let me go get, I have a couple more bags in the garage. So let me go get those. I'll be right back. Okay. So let's start with opening up this box. All right. So I will go ahead and I will put pictures of each Dahlia just so you guys know what it looks like. Um, you've probably seen a couple of them because I got some of the common ones, like this one. This is the Cafe Olay Dinner Plate Dahlia. Um, let's see, eight to 10 inch blossoms, cream, pale pink flowers. It, you know, it's just a classic. So super excited about that one. 
Then I have Pom Pom Wizard of Oz, which is like a little pink Pom Pom, you know, the circle ones. Uh, Creme de Cassis, very exciting. Another Pom Pom, Franz Kafka. And Lilac Time, that's a dinner plate one, a little purple one. Ooh, and then this one I'm excited about is the Anemone, Anemone Lifestyle. So I think this one is shorter. This one does not get tall. Um, I think it only gets about two feet tall. Let me see. Fancy two. An anemone, a fancy two-tone dahlia with lavender pink petals surrounding a golden yellow center. The compact plants stand just over two feet tall and never need staking. Cool. So um, that one's going to go in my cut flower garden. I thought it would be pretty there. So those are the ones that I ordered online from Longfield. The ones that I got at Costco are Lavender Perfection and Thomas Edison. Ready? Um, a Luna Claire and then Tsuki Yori no Shisha. The, this is the Tsuki Nori Yoshisha. The, this is a cactus one. And then this is the Aluna Claire, obscure. Okay, and then let's see, we have Blue Boy and Arbitax. I'm excited about Arbitax because that's one of Longfield Garden's new ones. So I'm excited to get that one going. I decided that I did want to do some red just so that I would have some, uh, you know, stuff for fall blooms. I thought that a red, this combination would be so pretty with like a sunflower kind of in late summer. So hopefully these guys do well when it's, um, it's hot and sunny. Uh, so it's Lady Darlene and Mingus Alex. And then these are the ones I found at Home Depot. Mystery Day. Lake Tahoe, which Lake Tahoe, I had to get this one because Lake Tahoe is right by us. It's about an hour and a half away. So, you know, I had to get it. Um, let's see, Arabian Night, another red one. And then, oh, Kelvin Floodlight. I, I feel like this one's gonna be really good in arrangements. A yellow, um, White Perfection, another one that's gonna do awesome in arrangements. And last one. Black touch. Pretty. So, very excited about these. I'm gonna go ahead and pop them up. Um, let me take you guys out to my greenhouse. Okay, you guys, here we are in my greenhouse. I have all the dahlias. I brought them out from the kitchen and then I have my tub of soil and that's just regular potting mix, nothing special. And then it's so funny because I just cleaned out my potting area on the side of my house and told myself I was getting rid of all my pots and, you know, I don't need them. And then last minute, as I put them in the pile, I remembered that I was potting up all these dahlias. <laughs> so I had to run out there before anybody came to grab them. Um, and I had to grab 20 of these for my 20 dahlias that I'm going to pot up. So I'm glad I remembered that because I would have been in big trouble if I didn't have any pots for this. And then I have my steak that I'm going to use. I'm I already used these for my cut flower garden um, and I just got them online off Amazon. I'll link them below and then I have a label maker and so I just did a label for each flower for each dahlia, really each flower in my garden um, and I think that those should last over the season. I don't think that it'll wear off. Um, you know we'll see. We'll try it out but I also think it looks pretty and it looks neat and um, yeah, I'm just really happy with it. So I will link these down below if you guys are interested in them. And then I figure as I pot them up, I'll just put this label in so that I don't have to make all new labels. You know, I can just reuse it. And then when I pot the doll, when I plant the dahlia out in the garden, I'll just pull this label out and put it in. Yeah, so that's my plan. So let me show you guys how I pot up my dahlias. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with Cafe Olay. So let me find Cafe Olay, there it is. So I have my cafe au lait. I'm gonna put this in the pot and I clean these pots out. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some soil, put a little layer on the bottom. You guys, I don't even think you guys can see that. And then I'll get the tubers out. Okay, and they kind of look like an octopus. All right, and so you can see there, there's quite a few tubers on here. So if you look, here's, here's a body, 
and then it's connected by a neck, and then it has an eye right up there um, to the growth point. Um, and the eye is the growth point, which is where the dahlia will grow out of. So this has quite a few tubers on it. I'm just going to go ahead and plant this whole thing. Um, and I'm going to plant it. You can tell that the stem from last year was right here where it was cut up. So you cut off. So you want to put the stem up top. So I'm just going to take the whole thing like this and I'm just going to stick it in the soil. And then I'm going to cover it just about two inches deep right there. So it's only going to go up to about there. And then all I'm going to do is lightly water it and then put it on my heat mat and underneath my grow lights inside my bedroom on my, uh, my seed starting station. And that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do all 20 of these. I'm only going to do one of each variety. And then I think I'm going to bring my mom a couple of the extras that I have so she can plant some dahlias in her new garden. I forgot Jason bought me this new really cool uh, scoop from online. So I'm going to use that today. And there is a ladybug in here. You guys probably can't see it. There's a ladybug in here. <laughs> all right, let's get going. Okay, I wanted to show you guys real quick again. So here is a Mingus Alex tuber. And what I wanted to show you, let me see if I can do this with one hand. So what I do is I put a cup, like an inch or two of soil into the pot. Okay, and then I find the stem, right? And so this is, this is where they cut the flower stalk off from last year. And then I stick it in there Okay, and kind of kind of scooch it down so that it's touching as much of the soil as possible and then I just take more soil and put it over until it's covering and then what I do is I take my hand and I kind of just scrunch it around and I try and get all the soil uh, in between each one of those tubers um, so once I water it in it'll do it'll it'll do the same thing but I'm just trying to get the soil to touch all the tubers that are down in there so just by kind of scrunching it around like this and and if I feel any air pockets I'm kind of pushing them in and then you can also shake the pot a little bit as well um, but I think that that's um, that's how kind of I do it just to make sure that you know I'm not just sticking the whole tuber down there and then there's an air pocket you know kind of in the middle like that hope that helps so I have all 20 pots they all looked pretty good except for Lake Tahoe that's one that I don't know this one right here that's one that I don't know if it's gonna survive um, every tuber in there was moldy and gross and I think I found one that had the body the neck and the eye on it so I'm gonna try and get that one to sprout, but I don't really have high hopes for that. And that was one of the cheap ones that I bought, the, the non-Longfield Garden ones that I bought from Home Depot as like a, you know, an impulse buy. So there was a significant difference in quality between the Longfield Garden ones that I got online and at Costco, and then at the other ones that I got at Home Depot, you know, just off the rack. So just wanted to tell you guys that. I made an absolute <gasps> mess. Oh, excuse Stanley. <laughs> I think Jason's home. I made an absolute mess in here, so I got to clean it up. All right, let me see what he wants. Okay, life with a beagle. <laughs> so I made a total mess in here. I got to clean all this stuff up. I'm going to bring all these extra ones to my mom's house so that she can decide if uh, she wants to plant some of those up to put in her new garden. 
and then I just have to go and bring all these potted up ones um, into my bedroom and put them under the grow lights and on the heat mats. All right, so that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun to harvest some of those beautiful tulips, and I think they look so good in that blue and white vase for my mom. I think she's really gonna like it. Um, so all I have to do is I just have to put these pots inside, wrap up all these dahlias, and then get ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please consider subscribing, and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.